everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to GTA 3. Right, I'm going to need a car to get to Joey's. Come on. Is everyone in bed? I need a car. Come on. You'll do. Get off. For that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a fast car. And help Pogo to his final mission. To storm the right. house with his friends and become president of the United States. Joey, what have you got for us? Game kids are sure to stare at for hours. Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot gamer called Pogo the best spring and simian game since bouncing bananas. The game Pogo the Monkey today. Right um, I think he should be available for that job now. Pogo the Monkey plastic dolls, Pogo the Monkey boat covers, Pogo the Monkey car covers. If the dad who has everything, why not a Pogo? There we go. Farewell, Chunky Lee Chong. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Colombia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details anyway? He's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Yeah. Remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. Thanks. Good to know. All right. So that's where I need to go. Right. I'd eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds, I'd use the Dormatron, unlike those other exercise machines that were... Yeah, turn the radio off for a bit. Why not? Thanks! You dinged my car, you asshole! Yo, people in Liberty City just... Don't know how to drive. I think he robbed you, love. Wait. Did that prick steal my car? My car was stolen. Give me yours. My 2000 sleep off lard. Or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. Get out the way, please. Thank you. Who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway? I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic tundra. Ah, uh, I need to be quick here, aren't I? Yeah. Do I have a shotgun? I do. Come oh, on, don't make this hard for yourself. Give me a car. Of course he got away. He wouldn't let me sprint. Right, <sighs> bitch, for the last two years, and it is impossible. Impossible, I tell you. Okay, and speaking of impossible, Jane from Cedar Grove is on the line and she wants to talk about how difficult it is being a parent today. Hello, Jane. Hi, Laszlo. I love the show. I'm a first-time caller. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are warping our kids' minds. My son's dog, Hugo, got hit by a truck and he said, Mommy, Mommy, where's the reset button? Kids these days, they think... I let my kids...
All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Oh, damn it, he has another car. Oh, get out the way, everyone. God damn it, come here. I suppose you're one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy later in life. I told you before, man. Don't mock me. Ah, come on, I need to. That's where I shoot. Commercial radio station owned by Love Media. Advertising revenue pays my salary. And on that note, it's been two full minutes since a commercial. But I'd like to say, if anyone else is stressed, might I recommend Equinox from I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything. After trying Equinox, I've been oh, God damn it, come on. There we go. I'll take the extra cash. Tell very much. Right, Joey's going to be closed now. Which reminds me, actually, I think we go back this way. There's a place where you can drop cars off. Where was it? After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. The game doesn't end until there's only one man. Ah, I think it was back here. Or watch the 24 hour live webcast. Liberty City Survivor. Natural selection has come home. Sponsored by Ammunition. All right. Oh, okay. Turns out this is one of the cars. Do it like complete the list and there'll be a, a little help bonus for you. Okay. So there's all the cars we need to get. Pretty sure one of them is over here. Now I need to try and remember what the damn cars are called. Of course you are. Is this one of them? Karuma, maybe. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, Pee Wee? Who do you think you are? Short people are people, too. All right, another award winning show on Chatterbox. Today we're talking about anything, it seems. If you have something. Not interested in that model. Okay. Ah, maybe it's the other one. I think it's one of the other lists that need this car. Okay, then. So. Um, you maybe? Can't die from a bullet. You can die from a cardiac arrest or organ failure or major hemorrhage. That ain't a problem. Can't die from a bullet. Well, we've got the big IQ takes today. Countries don't have guns ain't American. You know that's a really good point. Okay, not that one. Don't have guns aren't American. Uh, maybe mule, coach, Yankee, flatbed, line runner, dodo, trash master, bus, patriot, rumpo, Mister Whoopie. Pony. Yeah, you mean the Lone Star State? Oh, 
know, taxes. Well, you know, look, taxes are really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. And now the state Keep wants to pay taxes ass. on the money he wins from that stuff? But Is it you? Are you a pony? No, you're a mule, which is which is on the list. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Nadler. Yes, yes, I, I do like it here. There's one thing, though, that's, that's very different and rather worrying. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. She was very strict, Nadler. Yeah. There we go. I'm sure you are. Okay. There's two done. Right. Make a note of that for later. Saw a ramp earlier. Maybe I can get one of these jumps out the way. God, the docks are violent. Okay, so this car's still here, but the uh, other one wasn't, the Karuma. Is this going to work? No. Oh well, good effort. Ooh. Are you on the list? What are you? Line runner. Was that on the list? I can't remember. Of our audience, let's reward the other two percent with a commercial. When we come no back, thanks, love. Studio guest, I'm a good Christian boy. On this radio station. It's Remember not true, I'm not. <laughs> there we go. That's that one out of the way. I'm gonna have to save at some point so I can actually, uh. Why would you still pickpocket a homeless person? That just that's just adding insult to injury. Right, let's try this car. You might be fast enough for the ramp. Twenty-first century technology needs. I only spent twenty thousand dollars, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored, stupid, at my daughter's recitals and my son's little league games. <laughs> Father of the year. Oh, here we go. And we're gonna land it. Yeah. Reckless driving. Damn right. All right. So this this does the job quite nicely. Drive slower. No, I don't want to. Ah, uh, pretty sure there's one of those packages around here somewhere. Oh, Mr. Whoopi! Sorry. I know people who need this. Can you maybe not ding my my whip? That's the that's what people say these days, isn't it? My whip. No idea why it's what's wrong with just saying car? No, I'm not selling ice cream. I know the the tune's going off, but no ice cream for you. Perfect. That's a quick way of uh, earning some money in this game. Ah, six o'clock. Okay, we don't need to save now. We can just go straight to Joey. Why all this talking about kissing? I mean, you brought it up. No, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say 
hypothetically, to make me all personal is a bit different. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Laszlo, your wife, she looked like yesterday. Ah, uh, good for you, Fernando. Van heist. All right, we're going to hit the payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. And take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are going to take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. All right. I can save you, and I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. <laughs> hey, you are the one mentioning the pretty assistant and the office furniture and the Aikarama, my friend. Listen, Laszlo, and listen very closely. Your marriage is a gift. It's a present from above, but you are a man. I think we see by now you are no angel. I can save you. But when the man, he sees wife, all fat, all... No, thanks, officer. ...with the dirty diapers and the dirty panties and the scrubby brush, and who knows what else. He's not thinking of marriage back. He's thinking about what uh, you think about pretty Get out of here. Uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and the big eyes? Don't tell her. Yeah, smiling. What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment. Sir. If you are lucky, my friend, but you, more likely, your marriage is wrong. Your sweetheart, she hates you. I really need an Uzi for this one. I'd rather not, thanks. Come here. Oh good, now I'm up to two. So how does this work? It is a miracle, a miracle. I'm sure he will. Lucky this was around. Lucky find. The way I'm trying to get a job done. Don't know why you guys are here. Right, I need to find a bribe thing. Ring us now. Hey, oh, cool. We have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing he's a miracle worker. He saved me. Uh, where is one? Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man, like a half a man, a moon. No. He has no end. And his marriage, it is killing him. Oh, this. I'm pretty sure there's a bribe thing around here somewhere. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty lady. She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end, big and hairy. But fuck that. She gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now she's like a whole offensive lion. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of the <sighs> God damn it. I'm sure there was a bribe thing around here somewhere. And he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat torture. Ah! Stop! No! Oh. I've got to do all that again. Damn it. 
love the show and always wanted to call in. You really offended me today. Who is this gutter trash you got on the show? Hey, Janice, I share your anxiety. The studio kind of uh, forced him on. Hey, you like yourself, mister. And you, Janice. Why are you so ugly? Your husband, What's he don't make you boy? happy. No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry, and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, last one. The women they think in new beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for women. Yeah, garbage truck, I would need one of those at some point. She thinks that you're wonderful all over again. And in your string case, maybe she come to work for me. And she get a new beginning for herself. Hey. Come on. I give the fashion back. And you better wash yourself, buddy. Because for my people, we take these issues very personally. And then, you no longer Mr. Toshio. You Mr. Hooker on my tongue. <laughs> Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am... Um, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. We're in Latin. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride. I have a calling. Many are called, but you are chosen, my friend. And I was called and chosen to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? From upstate, okay? You happy money enough? I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. Ah. The miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off, get lost. You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Give me your taxi. Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to petsovernight.com and we'll send you a shit kitten overnight. Petsovernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. If you could like sort of stop here, that would be. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. We're back here on Chatterbox, the radio show that never gets old. I'm Laszlo with open ears and closed mind. Hello, you're on the air. What's your name? I wanted to talk about it. Thank you. Oh, God. I think <sighs> Come on, right. Turn around. So you think that teaching kids at an early age that violence right. is the There's a bribe thing up here again if it's respawned. There it is. Are you back? No! Bastard. No! Shit! Run! Okay, not sure what hit, uh, hit me there. Why have you not respawned? Oh, come on, sprint. Res get your sprint back, please. <sighs> Where are the cars gone? No! I need a bribe. I am the president of a group called Citizens Raging Against Crap. Exactly. Your organization's called Crap. What, what kind of moron are you? You, you want to round people up for using a phone? But you're, you're calling up on a phone to, to tell the world about it. I mean, how many people are there in this crap? Citizens I don't want to use cheats. I don't want to use cheats. Where's another bribe? I'm pretty sure there was one around here. 
you speaking to me on? What's it, what's that in your hand? I am not the problem. You are, and you're perpetuating the downfall of mankind. Liberty City was great before phones ruined everything. Liberty City was a church, a cow pasture, and three houses when the telephone was invented. Fire! Uh, there's, right, there's a thing there. Need to remember that. Oh, can you stop roofing your cars? Oh, God damn it. Give me a bribe. No, no, can't take that one. I don't want to comply. Radio show, we don't have viewers, we have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laswell, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month. Can you not? This one. We'll be having workshops on finger puppets too. I love Petunia the Pinky Meat Belly the Thumb. Street puppets, club puppets, dude, it's gonna rock. Right, okay, thanks. Ease things off a bit. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? No, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill. Alright. Roats and gold guineas. We'll be back after this. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion? Do you eat microwaves? No, not really. Jesus. Yeah, I just remembered uh, the car mechanics and the police are a, a slightly aggravating. Ah, but good. They've given up the hunt. With tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal serf. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the Medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum yum. By genuine. Oh, goody turnips. Including maces, double handed battle swords, and one size fits all chain mail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. There we go. Mission complete. Alright, well that was a bit intense. Oh, I can't randomly save. El Burro wants to offer you an opportunity. Get to the payphone. In Hepburn Heights. Alright. I think he's the uh, the guy in charge of the Diablos. Bait, uh, I think, if memory serves me right. Oh, that's the last place I wanted to be. Just as well they're not after me. Alright. So far, so good. Yes, definitely save after that. Now, I'm starting to remember why I used to cheat so much in these games. But anyway, 
I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been GTA 3, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.